1981 DeLorean. Isn't this one of the most iconic cars there are? Of course, Back to the Future made this wildly popular. Uh, how many series did they make? And it featured a car just like this to take you into the future. There's a scandal tied to DeLorean. You know, John DeLorean was a big wig at GM for many years. He ventured out on his own to create his own car company, ended up uh, getting busted in a big cocaine deal, and he was just desperate to raise money to save his sinking business. Uh, it just represents an era. This is totally 80s. Uh, and this one has about 4,200 miles on it. I've seen several of these in my lifetime. I've seen them with less miles. This is by far the cleanest one I've ever seen. I'll put this up against any DeLorean out there. It is nice. Uh, go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the information about the car. Look at pictures top to bottom. That's where you'll find a price tag along with a monthly payment. And there's also a buy it now button. I strongly suggest you hit that if you are excited about a car that just locks it in while you're thinking. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon and you'll be notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go into the future, go for a spin. Okay, they're known for their gull wing doors, stainless steel body panels. I mean, again, it's just such a unique car on so many levels for so many reasons. This is a part of history right here. I'm gonna close the door. I opened it because it's a lot more interesting when it's open, but all brushed aluminum panels, so there's brushed lines, and it's in excellent shape. This will scratch, you know, if you damaged it or scratched it. This one doesn't have any that I know of, so let's look at it together. So this stainless steel is all pristine, no dents, no scrapes. It all looks good. This is all really nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is stainless, so it's, you know, it doesn't scratch easy, but things happen. Uh, yeah, this is all really nice, excellent, all brushed stainless. You actually wipe it down, you go to the store and you get stainless steel cleaner like for your sink. You spray it and that's what you wipe the car with. Uh, this is all in excellent shape. The stainless steel is mint. I don't see any defects, dents, scrapes, scratches, nothing like that. Uh, the glass is all crystal clear. This is your power window right here. That's it. All the rubber and plastic trim is in excellent shape. I've seen them where the bumpers just disintegrate. They crack. They fall apart. Or they get uh, real chalky looking. Uh, these bumpers are in excellent shape. All this down here, nothing's beat up. It's all really nice. The stainless steel on this side is still really good looking. No issues with any of that. All the glass, all the trim, it all looks great. So the wheels, they are a silver alloy wheel. These tires are uh, pretty new. They're 14 inch and the back I believe are gonna be 15 inch. Yes, they are. So staggered size wheels, that's the way they came. Back bumper had the same problems as the front. They would be discolored and chalky or cracked. This is all really nice. No issues here. This DeLorean is embossed right into the bumper. So why don't we open it all up? I'll give you a tour of what one of these looks like. So there's a lever inside the car you pull and the rear window louvers open up. The struts, by the way, work on everything in the car. This whole panel is nice, not scraped up or beat up also released from inside uh, that's right there is what holds it up but look at how clean this is i mean this is nice this is clean the interior or uh interior the engine compartment light works uh so this is a volvo uh, v6 motor i think it's a 2.8 liter these are not fast cars they says more of a gt touring car than it is a sports car uh, but this is all exactly the way it should be, air-conditioned. That's really about as nice as they get. The stickers are still in place.
Uh, these are DeLorean Motor Company struts that hold open the doors. That's an inherent problem that those don't work properly. The doors don't stay up. Uh, the headliners fall out of these cars, and it sounds simple, but from what I gather, it's a little bit of a big deal. The material comes off, and so these are in excellent shape, obviously. So some of the typical inherent issues these cars have, this one doesn't have it. So 4,243 miles, all the gauges are mint, the dash, the plastic, nothing is cracked or broken. Uh, we get Camaros from this era and the plastic's cracked even with no miles on them. Uh, does have a owner's manual in the glove box here. The light works. This is genuine leather, leather on the pad here. Looks like new floor mats. The light gray carpet is mint. The whole center console is excellent. Original Dolby stereo, digital clock. Uh, five speed, they only came automatic or five speed. Uh, it's a little bit quicker with the five speed. This car was serviced by DeLorean Motor Company. Someone bought the name and the rights and all the leftover parts. They restore these cars. It was there for an oil change in service a few years ago. It might be why it's dialed in so good. It's not been smoked in. The ashtrays never used. Power windows, power locks, rear window defogger. Genuine leather on the seats. They're in really nice shape. Excellent shape. There is a locking compartment. It's carpeted inside of there. But just look at how nice everything is. You have a cargo net, this comes down if you want to put stuff there. But all the plastic trim, the headliner, the carpet, the console, everything is just so nice. Maybe you can catch a glimpse of the door. There's a strap you pull down to uh, close the door. It's a leather door panel and again, whatever plastic trim and handles, it's all excellent. It has a leather grip steering wheel. It's a tilt telescopic wheel. At least that's what I'm told. That's what I read. They all came with it. Pretty much all came the same way. A couple minor changes along the way. Uh, but you could get a black or a gray interior and you can get an automatic or the stick shift. And look inside here. It's immaculate. Uh, that's where you put the fuel. Your spare tires underneath here. light works I mean it, it's just it's clean extremely clean I don't think I have enough runway here to get up to 81 or 83 miles an hour to run to the future. So isn't this car just cool? It's nostalgic. It's fun. Uh, it's a conversation piece. Uh, I could just see going out dressed up with some 80s style clothes, get a hoverboard in the passenger seat. Uh, just just a fun, uh, interesting car to be around. When I said this is one of the nicest I've seen, even the underside, there's still all the assembly line paint markings around the suspension. It's so clean. It's got a big underbelly pan. It's in excellent shape. It's not rusty. It's all still nice and black and clean. It's not scraped uh, at all. Uh, Everything under there looks great. It's independent front and rear suspension, rack and pinion steering, disc brakes at all four wheels. We actually got this from an estate. We bought 25 cars a few years ago, and it was from the estate. I then sold it to a good collector down in Georgia. It's got about 50 cars. He just wanted to own one for a while. We just took it back in on trade. So second time I'm owning the car, and I swear this is the nicest one that I've seen. Uh, so go to volocars.com. Uh, salesman can help answer your questions. 
uh, including how to get it delivered to your door, how to get it financed. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click that bell icon, and you'll be notified when the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.